வணக்கம் நமஸ்தே குட் மார்னிங் Yes, it's about uh, 9.30 in the morning there and 10 p.m. here in Edmonton, Canada. Earlier today, uh, within this frame of expressive arts without borders, I was thinking about how each of us needs to find the little door to the big place. each of us in our own way and listening to your music right now <laughs> in a way the opposite happened i i immediately went to a very large place and now as i'm wanting to speak as this human being i seem very tiny i feel like now to take the large space and get it through the tiny door and i think that's the first time i've consciously been aware of that dynamic i've certainly always looked in in the frame of expressive arts as finding the little door to the big place so yeah I'm, i realize for many of the folks in expressive arts without borders uh, i'm introducing you so you've lived in india for many many years and you're you're the husband of uh, one of our leaders in the field now in in india at, uh, Gopika at uh, Swahansa Expressive Arts India and uh, we've worked many times when I've when I taught on Zoom and that uh, way you played and really it just enriched our time so much and of course we've met in Switzerland um, so at the European Graduate School so I'm wondering um, what what if we could start with Nautica if um Can can you say a little bit about what happens to you when you're playing what what, what happens to your awareness to your body to your what happens to you um when you're playing what what are you noticing what happens to you because you're not a, a performance artist you just open up spaces that includes you and so what's happening to you Yeah so it's interesting because <clears throat> the performance aspect is totally different and you know over the years i think uh, one of the aims though it's not something that one thinks about uh in detail but there is something that one would actually aspire to is exactly what you just said is that the whole point is that often you're in a performance situation and you're really over the years the ultimate aim is to reach a non-performance situation and some people are performers some people are entertainers and that's wonderful it really is a very nice aspect there are so many facets to music and to performance however yes in 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 my uh um, you know path it has been painfully sometimes um you know one has to, had to come to the realization that there's no point of this music if it or those um, thousands and upon thousands of hours of practice and it's not practice only it's self discipline it's actually in this way uh, music becomes a kind of um, yoga in the deeper sense of it and so when you find yourself in a performance situation the greatest thing that can happen is that everybody forgets that it's a performance and it becomes more intimate however big the crowd is and one of the uh things what i could say that has really changed or allowed for this to happen as a kind of almost training even towards performance is the expressive arts because 
I always say there's nothing more fantastic than having a group of people, especially if it's, you know, in your own space or you are in their space. And there's just no expectation. You are giving the best of who you are. And at every moment, you have to be in tune with what's happening. And I'm not, you see, it's interesting because even though I've been uh, witnessing the expressive arts a lot through Gopika's work, Swahansa, I have played from the beginning for her, um, you know, when she first set up uh, expressive arts, Swahansa Expressive Arts in India, I was right there, you know, playing for all these students who are coming and um, participants. And uh, I never saw my role as an expressive arts uh, teacher, for sure not, or an expressive arts person, but I became an expressive arts person through the I actual experience. And that experience is really that of tuning in to every single moment from the very light to the more intense and to realize that it's interesting because sometimes you you're also tuning in you know so all the people who are actually participating they're tuning in but you're also tuning in at the same time and what has been wonderful is especially this opportunity to be in fact, because I have been a performing artist and I have, you know, done, uh, you know, many, many recordings. I actually perform also with Gopika and uh, her son Keshava, who we played with, you know, all over, all over the world. But in this case, to take the background space, so you're always present and also you have that capacity to go back to the original, um, what you mentioned first, is to go from the intense to the, um, you know, lighter aspect. So what I mean to say is that sometimes you're there in the background and there's a very deep uh, research going on and nobody's quite aware, but it actually is happening and it has a lot to do with uh, the understanding and vibrating together with the every individual that's in the room, and as a group also. And what's been also very nice about working with the expressive arts is um, that it allows the much lighter aspect to come through. So I'm not just the musician, I'm the tea maker, I'm the coffee guy. So my chai wala instincts um, come up and then I'm able to actually serve really uh, the moment. I know those expressions, I hear them often because they are part of the, uh, you know, lingo of um, expressive arts. But those expressions that I hear, sometimes it's interesting because I actually realize that I'm in fact in a very good spot to uh, apply them because I'm the background guy. You know, the background guy um, that helps set the frame. And one of the most important things that we can do in the expressive arts work is set a frame that invites the imagination, that invites whatever's ready to come. So you are an expressive arts facilitator because the manner with which you hold the frame through music invites very intimate exploration. We talked about what's it, what's moving within us. Mm -hmm. That music invites that, that inward movement. I could barely keep my eyes open when you play around it. Invites the exploration between us. There's a kind of thickening in the air when you play and a quickening. And then sometimes we move out into the garden and we can still hear you out there so it's then that third level within between on what's happening around us. So that your relationship with nature, which I know is essential for you, becomes your kind of your partner in establishing resonance with what's moving around us. So my experience with you 
as an expressive arts facilitator is inviting people into a, a profound state of intimacy with what's moving within, between, and around. And I'm wondering if um, we can come back to your music, which is so lush, with a conscious awareness of those of us who are um, watching and listening to this video, a conscious awareness of this quality of intimacy that invites us in. And also, while we're moving in through the music, we're also engaging with you and aware of what's around us. Many of us are aware of what's happening in the world. So that this isn't our little respite from being in the world. This is how we're being in the world right now, intimately between us. I think there's a little piece here that people associate very much with the expressive arts, though it was composed mostly, you know, way before that, like 30 years ago. But that is also an, a good example of something that you just develop over, uh, you know, a, a, a composition. So it's interesting. People have that association with uh, music um, often as especially the non-musicians or whatever, but even people who have dabbled in music a little bit, they say, oh, so do you actually sit and compose? So they have this image sometimes that, you know, the composer is sitting there on his instrument and he's taking notes and, you know, that, uh, that uh, very uh, romantic view. And, well, in a certain way, even more romantic is sitting by a pond or a body of water and watching nature for like 20 years and actually composing a few notes for 20 years. So there's a piece that I like to call Natural Impressions, which was completely created around the elements of nature, whether it is the dragonfly flying by or the ripples of water, you know, the, 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 um, uh, the leaf uh, spinning in the wind on the cobweb, etc. you know, so... Uh, these are the kind of, uh, this is also another form, of, you know, it's totally connected to the expressive arts because, well, it's art and it's expressive. <laughs>
So these are the kind of improvisations that the they're two different pieces altogether, but suddenly I felt inspired because I imagined sitting in the hall here. Somehow I just had like kind of this vision of all these beautiful uh, students here. And I was playing this, the natural impressions, and then I suddenly I felt, oh, they're all really in a beautiful spaced out mode and I could sort of see their movement. And then I thought, oh, now they need to move a little bit also. So of course usually Gopika gives me a prompt a little bit about you know what to do next but not that much. We kind of look at each other and we know what's going on. So for example that would be a typical situation where I'd suddenly go into raga mode so I'd be Yes, indeed. It's such a humbling experience for all of us to truly meet. I mean, truly meet. And one of the things about expressive arts without borders is that we believe that the arts are one of the ways to create a bridge. For the purposes of meaning, that it's meaningful just to, to meet. And um, in this little bit of time that we have and these videos that we create for the participants of Expressive Arts Without Borders, we're inviting people to, to live um, the phenomenon of being open to changing our sense of what our own boundaries are. Mm -hmm. That the vastness is not a place to go to, it's a place to inhabit, for example. So when we talk about without boundaries, we're, we're not only talking about uh, you know countries, we're talking about our state of awareness. It seems like what your music does, Nautica, is um, we talked about embodiment in this work. It's not about the music. It's about embodiment of something that precedes the music and creates the music and, and resonating with what precedes the music and being that vehicle for the creation of, of music. So, so it's lovely spending some time with you. It, it always is. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything that you'd like to say before we have you play something more and we say goodbye for now. Um, these these uh, video sharings uh, are about a half an hour and we're about that point now. But uh, I'm wondering if you want to say something um, 
In the area of inspiration, you talked about discipline, and in the expressive arts work, we need two things, inspiration and skill. We don't talk as much about discipline as much as um, um, devotion, and quite frankly, I experience you uh, devoted to <laughs> this combination of getting out of your own way and, and becoming skilled. So I guess my question is, what is the nature of your shift? We talk about shift a lot in this work, not just an insight, but a shift. It seems like you shift from being given to the music to being taken by the music. Even though you're creating it, that you're embodying this thing that we talk about as an intention of the expressive arts work to not only be given to, but to be taken into it or taken by. Does that resonate with you? Totally. So, yes, it has a, a lot to do with that. Bring the mic a little bit closer, Narika. Yes, so it, 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 <clears throat> it has a lot to do with all that. Uh, and again, um, I feel that in a certain way, when you do dedicate yourself to a meaningful life, you could say, you know, I mean, again, without... Uh, doesn't have to, de to be uh, always uh, so deep, but meaningful in the sense that whether it's light or deep, it is you uh, finish your day or you finish your week or your months and your years and you cannot help but detach yourself from who you are or what you represent and then you look and you say, oh, that's a nice story. I, I've, I've actually created a pretty nice story. It's just a story, but it's a good one. And a lot has to do with, um, it seems that life would be empty without the arts sometimes. And I, when I say without the arts, I realize that a scientist is an artist also, right? I mean, and, and a sportsman is an artist. You know, it's all relative. They're all just... It's all terminology, but the, the, the thing is that whoever you meet along the way and anybody, uh, a, a, a simple uh, worker, but when, when, when he has or that person has a connection to the essence, then it all makes sense, right? So in that sense, I am, yes, the inspiration is very much there, but there, there's one thing that is very particular for me with uh, the expressive arts work is I feel a transformation in people uh, that sometimes it takes years to actually reach that. So in, in a much lighter way to express it, you know, you have some students that come. I don't know if it's the right expression, students. Maybe somebody will tell me, well, they, that's not what you call them. Well, but anyway, for me, as I said, as a kind of bystander doing the music, seeing these people come, all these, um, uh, you know, uh, young and old and from all over the world, and um, they come for the first day. And... Uh, it's normal, right? Everybody's a little, we're human, right? So everybody's a little withdrawn. It takes a moment. Uh, people don't know exactly what to expect, perhaps. But what I have noticed is compared to many, many other disciplines, this is one where, at least in my experience and what I see here, two days, one day, and people are suddenly all open and 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 they're catching something of the this essence you know and another thing that i find beautiful is that i found that people working with the expressive arts uh, the change seems to be permanent uh and that's incredible in the sense that of course it's it, it, it there are waves but most of the people that we have seen over the years who are working with the expressive arts have touched something that stays with them and it becomes a community in that way and a community in the sense of it's not limited to the expressive arts but 
it is a community that expresses uh, well a sort of unity and and love because ultimately that's what it is right goodness um so this is my uh, experience and as i always say it's i don't want to 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 sound as if i'm saying that i'm an out outsider to it i am very much an insider to it but i have been for some reason given the best role in many ways because i just sit back and i do what i do and but i do what i do in a way that it inevitably adapts to the situation and the moment so in this way i'm feel grateful i'm very happy by the way also also good to mention that it's been wonderful to work with you even though we did meet in switzerland and um is many years back but i discovered that it's actually possible to communicate on zoom through you <laughs> uh i i used to always say to 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 go because i said ah that doesn't work the zoom thing and all that and then so often we would have you in the room and i would act on the screen on the computer and i would say oh my god he's actually here so that's the technology and and more than the technology it's the vibe so i'm very grateful for that opportunity and uh, grateful to be able to work in the expressive arts and go on with my uh, research musical research through that beautiful uh, you are a dear friend and a beautiful colleague and i'm so glad to share you with our expressive arts with our borders community mm -hmm. so we'll go out with one of uh, your explorations uh, in music naraka thank you so much <laughs> time yes thank you thank you to thank you to you to go pick up for arranging this also mm -hmm. and to the whole world of expressive arts the whole infinite world of expressive arts which very much includes you <laughs> take care thank you